Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's been a while since we spoke. Uh, I think it's been six months. So let's start talking about how to improve your decision making or why is it important to improve your decision making skills. I had to make a difficult decision a couple of months ago um, and knowing myself I take a very long time to come to a decision especially if it's a life-changing decision. So the decision I made is to leave my previous employer and come to an, my new employer. It took a lot of time um, but I had already decided because a person actually decides when they update their CV and they start applying. At that point they've already decided that they want to seek better opportunities or a challenge. So having decided to update that and put my name out there, I had to make a, dis a difficult decision. What decision is that? It is to accept or decline that new opportunity. Part of the reason why it took me so long is because of the relationships I've built with the people that I worked with. It was not necessarily a selfish decision, but it had to have a selfish element to it. So what I do is, is to consult. So when I find myself in a difficult situation, it's easier for me to seek advice. So you need to have people that you trust. One, you need to have a family member that you trust. Two, you need to have a friend that, that you trust. Three, you need to have a colleague that you trust. Those three people can give you perspective in terms of what you need to do. Each of these people have vested interests in terms of your decision. The colleague, yes, is, a, is, is your colleague. I'm not sure if you know the page, the Facebook page, 9 to 5 Life, that speaks about co-workers and how they behave. So a co-worker is your friend at work. You share the same sentiments or frustrations, etc. Two, your friend outside of work is your buddy. You may have grown up with the person or you studied with the person, but you touch base every now and then. And when you see each other, it's like a whole new experience. Then your family. Your family has vested interest in terms of, you know, if you've got better earning potential, you are more likely to contribute to the family. So those are some of the decisions that you must make and then also your confidant or your life partner. Also they've got a vested interest in terms of your decision because is it upward mobility, lateral or you're moving backwards. So when you're making a decision you need to have people that you consult in order for you to come to a well-rounded um, decision. So I think that's important because one cannot just make haphazard decisions especially if it's life life changing but if it's whether to take sugar or two sugars or tea or coffee i mean you know what you want so that is not a life changing one but for serious decisions it's better to consult so how do you do that i followed that that manner so i'd like to hear how you go about making life changing decisions and let's have the conversation around how to make decision better. Cheers.